Hi, my name is John Wallace. I'm the Extension Weed Scientist here at Penn State. We're standing in a cornfield. It's the beginning of October and this corn crop won't be harvested for grain for several weeks. So it'll be close to November by the time we get this crop off. And in Pennsylvania, in the Northeast, and other parts of the Upper Midwest, uh, it's very challenging to get a cover crop to establish and get good growth in the fall after late harvested crops like grain corn. Um, so you don't get the benefits of soil erosion protection, things like nitrogen scavenging, um, some early season or fall uh, weed suppression. So one of the practices uh, that we've been looking at is interseeding cover crops into standing grain corn. Here at Penn State and elsewhere, we've been using high clearance grain drills to come in at about the B4 stage. And in this particular plot, we interseeded annual ryegrass at about 25 pounds per acre. One of the benefits of using a high clearance grain drill instead of broadcasting seed into a corn canopy is that you're able to get good seed to soil contact and so we get a more uniform establishment of cover crops, particularly in conservation tillage systems or no-till systems. So our research shows that there's a benefit for using a grain drill and past research has identified several species that can tolerate um, and persist under a corn canopy. Annual ryegrass is one of the cover crops that does quite well in an interseeded system. Several of the legumes, medium red clover and crimson clover, uh, can also persist in this type of an environment. So one of the challenges that we've faced is we tend to get a pretty consistent establishment of the cover crop when we interseed at the V4 to V5 growth stage. But in years when we have long periods of drought conditions in late summer or when we have really big uh, corn crops that canopy really heavily, we sometimes lose the cover crop during that droughty period of the year. So we're working on best management practices for making sure that we can consistently establish interseeded cover crops and that they can persist throughout the year so that we get these benefits in the fall of having living roots in the ground, actively growing cover crops um, once the, we see, start to see some leaf drop in the corn canopy.